You've seen how list and form let us create scrolling lists of data. But for times you want to create a scrolling area of arbitrary views, some views you've made by hand, for example, that's you want to turn to SwiftUI's scroll view. Now, scroll views can scroll horizontally, vertically, or in both directions at the same time. And we can also tell SwiftUI whether it should show the scroll indicators. That's the little thin scroll bars that flash briefly, giving the user an idea of how big the content actually is. When we place views inside scroll views, it'll automatically figure out the size of its content, so users can scroll from edge to edge easily. For example, we can say in here, uh, let's make a scrolling list of 100 text views. I'll say there's a scroll view. Inside there will be a vStack with spacing of 10 points. Then I'll do a for each of 0 to 100. And then inside there, I'll just do text of item $0 in a font of title, like so. As you can see immediately, we get this nice scrolling list. Let's scroll all the way down, up again, perfectly. Now, if you run it back and try it yourself, you'll see it behaves a little bit similarly to list and form in that it respects the safe area automatically. So our list starts directly below the dynamic island up here, making sure it isn't obscured by default. But as you scroll around, it will go under that like so, uh, just like lists and, and uh, forms do, which is really nice. Um, you might also notice that it's a bit annoying having to tap in the very middle of the form. If I run this back in a simulator, you'll see what I mean. Um, the scroll view is, is tightly around its content. So this scroll bar is right here uh, next to our items. You, if you try and scroll here, it won't do anything. You've got to try and click in the middle instead to make it scroll, which is obviously a bit annoying. Um, to get that behavior, make it fill the full screen, you want to modify your VStack here to take up more space while leaving the default center alignment alone. So I'd say this VStack here has a frame with max width of dot infinity. So it will now occupy the full width of the screen automatically, like that. So it's still centered, but I can click here and drag down. The scroll bar sits on the right now, which makes more sense, like that. So this all seems really straightforward, but there is an important catch you have to be aware of, which is when we add views to a, a scroll view like this, they get made immediately, straight away. To demonstrate this, we're gonna make a simple wrapper around SwiftUI's built-in text view. I'll make a new view up here called custom text, which is a view, capital T in text, which is a view. I'll give this thing uh, a text string to show, and then, oh, hello dogs. And then for its body property, uh, we can say simply just show a text view of whatever's in our text string. Yeah, I know, text interesting, isn't it, dogs? Yeah, one, two, good dogs. Um, so I'll just do text of text. It's a simple wrapper here, okay? But we're doing that because we'll say inside this thing, there's initializer. Initializer will assign text to text. That's um, the Mexico, by the way, the autocomplete initializer. But inside that, I'll also say print creating a new custom text. So we can see when SwiftUI makes this custom view as our code runs. It's being shown automatically for us, which is a nice way of doing it. And now in our for each, sorry, I'm gesturing with the, the treat, sorry dogs. Uh, in our for each, we'll make a custom text rather than uh, the built-in one. So we'll say down in our code for each here, let's do custom text with the text of the item instead. And it'll look the same in the canvas area. See the same text appears, scroll around, da, da, da. nothing's changed here. But when you run it back in a simulator, you'll start seeing log entries coming in Xcode's log here. And look what you see. Boom, and I'm scrolling around up and down now. It's printing the new custom text every single time just by launching the app. I haven't scrolled at all, but it's made every custom text for the entire uh, scroll view up front, which is not ideal. Uh, and so if you want to avoid this happening, what you've got to do is look for different stacks. We're using a V stack right now. There are alternatives. We've seen VStack and HStack before. There's a lazy VStack and a lazy HStack. And these can be used in exactly the same way as a VStack and HStack, but they load their content on demand as they're shown. They won't make the view if it's actually about to be shown on the screen. And so it will minimize the amount of system resources being used. So in this case, we can swap our, our VStack for a lazy VStack like that. 
literally the word lazy before it, okay? Press command R now, and it will still have to make some, I have to make 17 of them, right? But once it's made those ones, it makes the rest of them dynamically. So I scroll around, you'll see that down here it's adding more text automatically, as I scroll, I was making bigger in Xcode. Um, it makes them on the fly as I scroll around, not all at once. Just literally adding the word lazy uh, means our code now runs a bit more efficiently here. Now, although the code to use regular and lazy stacks is the same, there is one important layout difference, which is that uh, a lazy V stack like we have right here will always take up as much space as available in our layouts. Whereas a regular stack like, a, uh, like this only takes up the space that's actually needed. This is intentional because it stops uh, a lazy V-Stack from changing its size constantly as it makes new views. If it loads a new view and it's too wide, it has to make the whole thing bigger again and again and again. It would jump around constantly scrolling around. It'd be unpleasant. With a regular V-Stack, it makes all its views up front. And so we can size them more correctly and be correctly sized for those views. Whereas this thing has to expand to fill the available space. One last thing. If uh, you can, like I said, adjust your scroll view so it can be horizontal rather than vertical. Um, I'd say here, scroll view dot horizontal, and that's fine. It's now our horizontal scroll view. But <laughs> make sure after you've done that, you switch your stack direction. You know, saying scroll horizontally then giving it a vertical stack will just not get what you want at all. You want to say, actually, it's now a lazy H stack because it's a horizontal scroll view and it'll place it horizontally. Um, this frame can now go away because it'll not important anymore because it's going horizontally. Uh, that will work better all being well. Let's find out. There we go. You can scroll around. You can see that the scroll bar is down here. So again, it occupies all the screen space by default. So it won't jump around. It's being laid out like that. There we go.